in case anyone wants to know how pregnant I am, I now have to wear a band when I walk. That belly band? I have to wear one when I walk because otherwise my round ligament band gets too painful. That's how pregnant I am right now. Okay, welcome back to the vlog channel. So it is, when I am filming this, Wednesday, December 29th. We are literally at the, like I, ugh, Friday is literally the last day of the year. It's so crazy. Um, tomorrow I go in for my glucose test though. I am nervous. I am nervous because, and I talked about this um, on my Insta stories, my mom had, she had difficult pregnancies really healthy pregnancies as far as what she ate and she still had gestational diabetes and she's told me a hundred times she's like Mariah I, I'm pretty sure I had gestational diabetes because I have PCOS so those those are I think correlated and not necessarily you know yeah I don't think you'll have it because you don't have PCOS um, but I just got a lot of good tips from you guys on what to eat and stuff before so like a lot of people said protein um, and greens a lot of people were like greens are really gonna help kind of offset and I'm not even worried about passing or failing as much as I am the sugar crash from the drink um, because if I eat like an airhead now my like I can feel my heartbeat in my head so I'm nervous more about how I'll feel tomorrow some people were even like yeah girl I threw up like and had to do the whole test over again because the drink made you that sick. So it's gonna go one of two ways. It's either gonna be like so easy and I'm not even gonna notice it or it's gonna be horrible, a nightmare, and I'm gonna vomit and I don't know. But I guess we will find out before this vlog goes live. Um, so what I'm doing is actually I'm running to the store now because we're out of a bunch of stuff, like a ton of stuff. I needed kale, um, we're out of driver snacks. I keep those out year round for our delivery drivers. Um, we need potatoes. What was that other thing? Strawberries. We're getting low on those. Um, lots of stuff. So I'm gonna head to the store. But just want to tell you guys, that's how pregnant I am now. So I literally have to wear a belly band when I walk because otherwise the round ligament pain will hurt. So bad. Good Lord. Ah, I'm full. Okay, I'm rushing out the door right now. Last time you guys saw me, I was in the car, so I wanted to update you quickly. So okay, I have to go to the chiropractor today. They close at two. And it's 12 30 it takes me about 30 minutes to get there um i forgot they close it too so i had to like do my makeup really fast so passed my glucose test i was floored that apparently 80 percent that is a statistic of women don't pass the glucose test the one hour and then the so that's what the doctor was trying to tell me she was like it's super common for women to fail the one hour and then pass the three so don't worry if you fail and i passed with flying colors they wanted it to be under 140 and mine was um, 109. My hemoglobin looked good. The crazy thing to me was like, I felt fine for the first hour and some change. When I hit the two hour mark, I was like nauseous, dizzy, shaking, because we couldn't, like we left right at the hour mark and then it took us about 30 minutes to get to lunch. And like by the time we got to lunch, I was like a nightmare and I was just like, I need to eat. Like I'm gonna pass out or I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna do something. I, there's no way I could do the three hour. I would have like down right there on temper tantrum been like, no, do it again, <laughs> do it one again. Um, so I passed and the doctor surprised us or the ultrasound tech surprised us. So basically I thought we were going in for a profile. Um, while we were in there, she went ahead and just rechecked, made sure he was still growing at his normal capa capacity. Made sure he was still growing at his like normal speed, being doing good, and he was. And then she was like, oh my gosh, like he's holding so still today. Let me see if this works. And I didn't know what she was doing. And then all of a sudden, I was staring at the screen. I wasn't watching her. All of a sudden, it clicked. And then I saw him in 3D, and we saw his full face. And I burst into tears because he looks just like his dad. And it was the sweetest moment of my life, apart from finding out I was pregnant with him, because legitimately I had no idea that we were going to be seeing him in 3D. Um, and she just said she always tries if she feels like, you know, there's a possible chance to see their face. You guys, this kid is his father's clone and I am 25 weeks pregnant. So I don't, I just know it's only, cause like, that's what the doctor, she said, he could still change a little bit. And I was like, you're trying to like make me feel better about him not looking like me and me having to do all the work with my uterus. Um, and she was like, no, he could change. I was like, no, he's not going to. <laughs> he's a 25 weeker and looks that much like his dad. He ain't changing. So 
<laughs> it was a really, really sweet appointment, but I felt horrible, but I did pass. So, okay. Got to go to the chiropractor. Got to go to Target. I think that's it. I might stop by Chick-fil-A on the way home. We'll see. The line last time was like, it was not worth pulling. Like, it, it was that bad that I was like, no, it's actually not worth it. So, all right. If you're pregnant, go to the chiropractor. My sleep is better, I feel better. My hips were out of line and I didn't even know it. And just them getting my hips back aligned in the last two weeks has made life more manageable. Um, okay, so I just went to Target and spent $300. And then I was thinking to myself when I was checking out, I was like, sis, did you really need like most of this stuff? And then I realized I literally didn't need to come to Target for no reason. I just came because I was here. Like the chiropractor is right there okay I'm contemplating whether or not I want to go to Chick-fil-a Chick-fil-a is busy 24 7 but here's the thing I haven't eaten lunch and we're doing a steak dinner tonight for the 31st um, we usually have a New Year's Eve party but we are not hosting this year and just a couple other reasons. Um, but not doing that, so we're doing a steak dinner at like six o'clock, you know, normal time. It's two. So I'm like, should I? I don't think I should. I'll show you guys what I got from Target when I get home though. I don't know, I'm just contemplating. I don't think I will. I think I'm gonna go home and make lunch and just make something small. Cause I know me, if I go to Chick-fil-A, I'll get all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna make lunch at home. Um, I have not had, I've not been hungry today. That drink took it out of me yesterday. Yeah, okay, I've decided I'm not going to, I'm not gonna go, I'll just go home and make something. That drink took it out of me yesterday. I felt like garbage after that drink. That. Sam was like, you're drinking? I said something about drinking. I was like, it's 50 grams of sugar. And he looked at it and he goes, no, it's 50 grams of dextrose, Mariah. He was like, that is, and I wasn't reading the like actual ingredients. And he was like, dextrose is like, less intense. And he was like, I can't believe you have to drink that. And so, all right, let's see if I can get out of this parking lot without losing my mind. Cause it's so busy today. Okay, I'm home. Hold on. <sighs> Starting the new year off right. Got the dishwasher running, the sink full of dishes. Laundry full of laundry that needs to be done. Laundry hampered full of laundry that needs to be done. Okay, so I was just doing this to show Sam like how we, how we put the trash bag in the uh, trash can. So I got a new, ignore the bag, trash can from Target. Gonna do a little mini Target haul for y'all. So black trash can, I wanted one with a lid because Doug loves to just go grab like toilet paper rolls out of there because he's the worst. Honest diapers, size one. Anytime I go to the store and they have size ones, I grab them because I cannot find them anywhere. Anywhere. They have either newborn or two. Okay, newborn is, I think their honest is 
10 pounds or under. And then two is like 14 pounds and up. Pretty big, pretty big jump there. So this is eight to 14 pounds. Um, no, newborn is anything under 10 pounds. That's what it is. And those are eight to 14. So he'll most likely be born using one. I don't see Sam and I having a kid that's smaller than eight pounds. Just don't. And my family, no. My family don't make no babies that size. Okay. What else did I get? So I got a clear shower curtain because we need actually, so that's the liner. We also need a new shower curtain, but I couldn't find one today. Um, I got new pajama sets. They have the Stars Above collection and they have these little pajama sets. They're like satin and they look like those ones from Nordstrom. I'm gonna see if they're the same quality because I have that set from Nordstrom. I can't think of what it's called, but I have like the gown in that and a lot of people said to get dark pajamas for once you have a baby because you just, there's a lot of leaking. Um, so I got a large, hopefully that will fit into pregnancy. We'll see, it might be too big. I doubt it. Um, mitts. Mm. So cute. All right, I got a bunch of random things. Um, I've told you guys before, um, my spoiled ass husband. That little heathen has been. Let me tell you. My dad harassing me. Let me tell you about my husband, okay? Yeah, so, that one. moved furniture from my parents two weeks ago. The week before Christmas. Week before Christmas. The weekend before Christmas. Weekend before Christmas. Moved furniture from my parents. And he was like, I'll do it if you pay me in banana bread. Now keep in mind, these, the, how heavy would you say that piece of furniture was? That thing they have for the TV? I don't know, taking apart 300, 400. Okay, so about 500 pounds just in one piece alone. And then he helped me move stuff. So he was like, all right, I want banana bread. So my mama still hadn't made a banana bread. And he told her yesterday when we went to the doctor, he was like, um, I'm holding baby uh, ultrasounds for ransom. He was like, you can't have them until you bring me my banana bread. Wait, you know what? She shows up today with banana bread. She always gets ultrasounds. She always gets a copy of them. She has a frame in her kitchen. She keeps changing them out as he gets bigger. Um, okay, so I've started getting travel size things for the hospital because I don't want to pack my stuff. You know, I just want to like take separate stuff. Um, so we're gonna take some pictures while we're in the hospital. So I bought hairspray. My pregnancy brain has kicked in so bad. I'm so sorry. I can't form full sentences today. Um, a little basket that's going to sit on top of the dresser for his like easy access to the things that I need the most for him. Um, I did need like lashes and lash glue. Tried kiss lashes, the kiss fall scare lashes this week. That was a disaster. Um, so I just grabbed a couple of these. I also got this eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. It's so pretty. Um, but you guys told me to try out new Wet n Wild stuff, and I always love Wet n Wild. Like eyeshadows are really good, especially the ones that come in this little pack, the color icon. Um, also, their highlighters are really good. And then I wanted to try this deodorant. So I'm I might take this to the hospital, may not. Um, but I kind of want to try the scent. It's the native deodorant and coconut and vanilla. I've never tried this scent before, but I really don't want to have to pack my own stuff. Well, cause what I do, and I think I've shared this, if you take travel size stuff with you, or even just like you take your stuff and put it in a travel size bottle, just toss it. And then that way, when you come home, you don't have that to unpack. I never unpack or like unpacking toothpaste, hairspray, even like brushes to an extent. Um, the lighting is so bad. I will take, hair, like I'll buy a travel hairbrush just to toss when I get, cause I, I don't, I don't like hey, bringing it home and having to unpack all that stuff. Um, the Burt's Bees line I've heard a lot of stuff about. We're gonna try a couple lines. Honest being one of them, Burt's Bees. I can't remember the other. I can't form full sentences. So they have this diaper rash ointment. This was actually heavily recommended by you guys. Um, so I got two of those. And then they also have, this is the multi-purpose healing ointment. And we're just gonna try out and figure it out for ourselves. We're not gonna, like I did, you know, go off the most like highly recommended ones, but at this point, I'm just gonna wait and see what he, what works for his skin and what we like the best. I'm not gonna get like what's the most popular, um, just in general, because sometimes the most popular stuff is not the best stuff. How fun is this? a new plunger and a new toilet brush because we just needed new ones. Got those. Goes mad, he's outside. Need to get a new bath mat. Lots of bathroom stuff. I was in the bathroom section for a hot minute today. New bath mat, some 
big. Okay. Also got this new Stars Above. I'll link this below for you guys. It's from the Stars Above collection, which I believe it's like a pajama line or a loungewear line from Target, but this is super cozy. So I've got that. They had it in, I don't know if they had the sweatshirt style, but I know they had cardigans as well, but they had this in like pink, white, and black. Stop. I can't stop buying little zippered things. Um, also got a pair of pajama shorts because I have like two pairs that really are comfortable now. So I got these. Hold on, Doug. I'm coming. I promise. And then the last thing I got because I want to kind of redo some of the under cabinet, under the sink storage in our bathroom. Again, I was all about the bathroom stuff today. Um, I got this little tote for my stuff. So I'm gonna um, try and reorganize down there and then make room because I also got a little green one that's like for his bath stuff because I keep a good chunk of stuff that I use in the shower on a regular basis under there. And I've seen a lot of people say that they keep bath stuff in the nursery and I don't know if that's excess bath stuff or bath stuff in general, but for me it's just easier to have at least like his wash all the wash and all that kind of stuff under the sink where i just i'm not having to carry it from one room to the bathroom um okay so i'm gonna put all this stuff up make some food i'm gonna make that little like shrimp bowl thing that i shared on my previous vlog and then i actually need to go um on a walk because it does kind of look like it's probably gonna rain today I need to go on a walk and then get my workout in because I finished all my work early so that I could have today kind of to do this stuff. That's where we're at. Oh, I am so tired. Fell asleep last night at like 10.30 watching Deadpool with Sam. That movie is as dumb as it comes. And then he woke me up at 12.02 and he was like, Happy New Year, but it's time to go to bed. I was on the couch. Um, so I've been craving a chai tea latte for two days, so I'm gonna go get one. <laughs> All right. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, this baby's been keeping me up all night. I love it though, so I won't complain. We've started to see him kicking from the outside. It makes me so happy. 